It was sort of a was letdown, right? It was sort of a letdown. <laughs> it, was, it was a letdown. Yeah. yeah. I think that I think that there was probably like happened. a building obsession of like the fact that yeah, nothing nothing really went down. So right. there had to be something written about it, and um, I think God shows us. God. <laughs> <laughs> what? Guys, let's give it up for the team. Y2K. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Yeah. We had a lot more people in here earlier. Oh, that's it was cool. louder. It was louder. We thought your team Actually, think there were people too. that were not clapping. <laughs> <laughs> the four people here. None of our teams came in. So They're all just hey, off guys. screen. Yes. Yes. They're all loving us. They're uh, clapping. Kyle and Evan, let's start with you guys. This film follows a group of teens partying like it's 1999, because it is 1999, until all hell breaks loose. Uh, what can you tell us about the origins of this story? Where this crazy tale Where did it come from? Um... Uh, pretty much uh, hangover, New Year's Day 2019. Kyle and I sent him a yeah, text. We, we yeah. partied the night before New Year's Eve. And I feel then, like, I don't know, do you went through Y2K to some degree. I, I did. You yeah. lived through it. I did, yeah. It was sort of a was letdown, right? It was sort of a letdown. <laughs> it, was, it was a letdown. Yeah, yeah. I think that I think that there was probably like happened. a building obsession of like the fact that yeah, nothing nothing really went down. So right, there had to be something written about it, and um, I think God shows us. God. <laughs> <laughs> what? I, what did he say when he spoke to you guys? Um, <laughs> listen, I'm gonna link you up with a twenty four. Uh, Evan, what's your side of the story? Uh, my side you of the story this was, thing. yeah, we, you know, waking up at seven in the morning, really hung over to a, a text from Kyle. That was just like a single sentence. Uh, I think it was more than one sentence. It but. was a, it was a paragraph. It was a, it was a short paragraph, but a long text. Okay. And okay. Uh, okay. it was and a run-on <laughs> sentence. Yeah, and just being like, whoa, that is a really good idea for a movie. And then we just started texting, and then, yeah, Kyle mm -hmm. was still on SNL, so he was off in New York, and then you'd come back, and we would write. Uh, and then, yeah, we just kind of kept refining it, and then yeah. went from there. Uh, Rachel, Julian, Jaden, um, I know that if it, this feels like, just, just reading about this film, it feels like there's a lot of surprises in store. Um, I know you can't say too much about where it goes, but like tease, tease what your experience was sort of first discovering this project, first reading the script and, and, and what that experience was like. Who wants to take <clears throat> it first, Jaden? <clears throat> first of all, I'm a big fan of this guy right here. I, I, like he, he really shaped my youth in a lot of ways, my humor, my friends. We were kind of obsessed with this guy. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the first thing I saw, um, getting the script. And, and reading it, it was a blast. It was, um, you know, I auditioned. It wasn't like it was my choice. I wanted to do this thing. And I, I felt like, no, 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 no. I felt lucky enough to be a part of it. <laughs> yeah, you should have just given it to me. It's fine. It's fine. At the end of the day, I, I won. No, it makes me feel like I won a, a competition. Oh, yeah, man. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a wild ride. Um, you never know where it's going, mm -hmm. I feel. But it still uses a lot of... Um, Kind of like you said before, like this, the tropes of of uh, of comedies of coming into age comedies mm -hmm. and using those and kind of flipping them on their head a little mm -hmm. bit. It's a good time. It's good. It's a good answer. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. I came across it really late in the game. I think we're like a month out from starting. Right? Am I wrong? Yeah. I don't know. There that was there right. ended up being an opening in the cast, and I was in the middle of Death Valley, Nevada, on like a commercial shoot mm -hmm. and I had no service and my agent was like breaking up on the phone being like, I think you should treat it. And just, so I was like wandering around the desert. So this is a true story, trying to get the script to load on my phone. And I read it in between takes of this commercial I was doing. And, uh, I just loved that it was so self-aware of like what it was both, uh, portraying and making fun of in a way. And I love Kyle so much. I'm such a big fan of Kyle's and, and anything that he does, I'm, I immediately can subscribe to. So I just really enjoyed it. And it was so different than anything I had done before. And I just really wanted to kind of take a step out of the, the parts I was, you know, usually seen for and immediately said, absolutely, let's do this. And I'm so glad that I did. Yeah. It's the same with Jaden. I actually auditioned for it as well. That's crazy. Though. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was offer only. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Craig, you know, I was asked and other people that you're afraid that you wouldn't get a job and you get the job and you can pay your bills and stuff. Um, but anyway, but no, it was great. I loved the script. It was very great. I remember in the audition, I did an American and I was really bad at it. They're like, hey, why don't you do your accent? And I did it. And I don't know. I loved it. I, it was a great script. Like it was, it was funny. Like I read it and I'm like, this is great. And like real shit, it was like, it knew what it was. And yeah. 
Yeah. I don't know. It was it was fun. It was great. I loved it. Uh, I'll, I'll just say, we're, we, yeah, we're we feel so fortunate to have these kids and, and everyone in the cast is like just a dream. Is and I I, w- I would actually disagree with that. Okay. <laughs> so are you going to name names? Or? He said, I'm going to uh, list the names that I did like uh, and the ones that I didn't. But I do. I thank you so much. You guys, that was those were some very nice words. Of course. It's very sweet. Thank you. Um, Kyle, also a uh, big fan uh, of yours. Uh, Brigsby Bear, <laughs> Team Brigsby Bear. Did, did you? Would you? Say there are similarities between that film and this one. Is there any like things similar in the DNA to these? I have to think besides uh, your own. I, I would say Evan might have a thought on this. I feel like maybe without spoiling too much, Brigsby Bear has a pretty distinct turn in it. You know what I mean? It starts off as seemingly one thing, and then mm-hmm. it breaks out into something else, and. Um, I would say that's what this movie is, but I almost was going to try to not say that. That's not that spoilery, but it yeah. but it, it, it shares that, if that makes... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there's, yeah. like... Can, if, I, cause if I could please, tell you, please, tell please, you Kyle, yeah, yeah, what yeah. you do. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I think there's, like, nuggets of wholesome that you find in it that you're not, like, expecting once the turn happens, and then it really is, like, kind of heartwarming, and I yeah. I found that in both Brigsby Bear and, and in Y2K. Am I right yeah. in saying that, Kyle? No, I, I think that I, uh, well, I don't, I, I'm, I get nervous talk articulating about like (laughs) my own work, but, um, but yeah, I think it's important and we certainly tried always to, to build heart into it. And, and I I think that people like that about Brigsby, they feel, you know, I think they went in expecting like just a, maybe a straight comedy and maybe got something slightly, you know, slightly different. And, uh, I, I would say this I think you can go in expecting things and maybe be surprised, and, and, and that's cool. I think that's true, too, because a lot of your characters are endearing. Like, uh, mm. a lot of the characters, you kind of feel sorry for them. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing about you. But, you know, while... You, you wouldn't know, feel sorry about me as a human. No, no, never. You're, you, you're on top of the world. I, I, I think, I mean, having... Kyle and I have been buddies for a really long time, and um, I've, I've always really loved his stuff and, and admired everything he does. Um, and I think something that makes your stuff really special is just that, yeah, you, you like find inspiration in like how people are trying to portray themselves, but that's not how they feel inside. Mm -hmm. And, um, there is like an endearing quality to that and an awkwardness and you really know how to mind that. And I feel like on a broader, just kind of story level and like for all of our characters and plot, even you're always trying to look for a way to like set up something. And then what you're actually getting is, different than that you expect oh, yeah you should have asked them <laughs> <laughs> um rachel we've talked before about this insane trajectory of your career <laughs> from going right into west side story and shazam yeah. and hunger games and snow white what was it like to do for a movie what was it like to do a movie for less than a million a hundred million dollars <laughs> so much more fun <laughs> <laughs> it was one of those really this fun moments indie. yeah it was my first indie and obviously making something with a24 was like on the kind of career bucket list i think any actor who's you know, aware of movie making and and what goes on. They're all dying to work with A24 and I was Mm -hmm. one of those people. And so when the call came, it was such a surefire yes. Um, And it's, it's actually just, I just find it to be more fun. Your relationships are so much more pure because you have such a small amount of time Mm -hmm. and uh, not as many resources. And you really come together with a common goal to make something really special. It feels like a school project in the best way. And I, no, what, I think that, I think that, like, I think that yeah, makes sense. Right? For it feels sure. like we're yeah. like all working on it on like a, the team PowerPoint and we're going to show everybody and hopefully we get an A and it's, I really love it. It's coming together for a common goal. It's the true like art form of movie making and filmmaking and the love of film is what drives it forward. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that can get lost in, in other productions. And so I, that was something that I felt and loved about working on this movie and makes me want to work with these guys again. Why so. 2K too? Why, why, why 3K? 3K? Why 3K? <laughs> why 3K? It was right there. Yeah. It was right there, guys. Why 3K? <laughs> why not? <laughs> why, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you guys, thank you so much for coming thank in. You and so speaking thank with you so much. Thank you. Give it up again for thank Y2K. You. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Love you. Guys in the room, give it up for the cast of Y2K. Hey, hey. <laughs> The four people in the room. <laughs> there were a lot more people here earlier. <laughs> we were doing this. We're like no, 25. This. Um, guys, this, I, I think this is one of the most hotly anticipated titles at South by Southwest. I oh, mean, I for know. good reason. You've got uh, Kyle Mooney, who's just a, a mastermind uh, behind the camera. That's You've right. got an amazing young cast. Um, what? Tell me about the experience of each discovering this this project and what your sort of 
I know we, we can't get too spoilery. We Actually. know we, we can say it's about a group of teens. It's 1999. Don't say it's about teens. You can't say We that. can't say it's about <laughs> teens. It's you about a group of people. It's in a certain year. We're not we don't you're gonna have to guess what right, year it which was. Because that's not yeah. indicated at yeah. all by well, <laughs> the title. Yeah. Yeah. I'll say as someone who predicates a lot of my personality on uh, nostalgia, I find any film that sort of touches on like an aesthetic or an atmosphere of the uh, somewhere between late 90s and early 2000s, um, I feel like I can kind of go back to that time in my uh, psyche and sort of revel in like what was and see how that kind of translates to today. I feel like a lot of kids kind of, I mean, I can't tell you how many Walkman or like retro headsets I've seen today just to like feel as if they have a part in, you know, what this time period kind of elicits. So... Mm-hmm. That's exciting, especially to see people kind of respond to that. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, yeah, it makes you feel like you're part of something like bigger than yourself. It's cool to walk on a set and then have it all be built for the time and built for the yeah. atmosphere. Because then you walk in and and it just makes your job that much easier that you can you don't have to use your imagination as much. You just walk in and you're like, oh yeah, I'm in a different world right that's now. Right. Yeah, and that's I feel right. like that's something that our movie really shines in. Is just you. We have seen it, and you just you watch <laughs> okay. it and you you feel so immersed. Like it really feels so immersive. I feel like they did it a really amazing job just getting all those little details and references down and down to just like the imagery and the like pixelation and the colors like it all just feels so immersive so I feel like yeah for kids who maybe weren't around right, during right. that time well, was, it, it makes you really feel like you're a part I, of something I yeah. was gonna say I was born in 96 so my okay. experience in I was born 99, in 2001 yeah. right like I was so you, you, were, like, you were partying hard on Y2K right, then actually you, I was yeah. outside every day and uh-huh. I got to experience you it, had but a I, juicy box you I know. Did, well I was gonna say as someone who doesn't necessarily remember firsthand 1999 <laughs> uh, because I was like peeing in diapers and stuff mm-hmm. but um, I feel like watching this movie I feel as if I was a part of that epoch that time do you guys oh, you were more yeah. in 2001 I was born in 2000 yeah I mean Okay. okay. So the this, is, does this movie end with your birth? Is that not the spoiler? Just fast forward into a hospital room. Yeah. This is a this is a biopic. Uh, about yeah, of me. Yeah. yeah. A yeah. couple months later. I. <laughs> <laughs> so so what you're saying are the '90s are back? Is that what that's what you, I think? That's Absolutely. What you're, you're, you're hinting at. Oh, of course. Yeah. Because I because I I mean I grew up in the '90s, so I'm like I'm curious to hear from from your perspective. Yeah, you were also born '96. Is that I was 90? born in yeah yeah ni- ni- yes. See so you get it. There it is. No, years. don't even do it. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. But I'm always curious, like when when, when like the nostalgia f- for the '90s has pop- been popping up because a lot of it is carried by sort of like G- Gen Z right now. Yeah. Like, what do you, what do you, what is what are your impressions of the '90s? Like what it, what to you guys <laughs> is cool about the '90s? Well, the funny thing is I my character is very much in this kind of subculture that not many of the other characters are, are in, where they're in the sort of rap rock, the mm. Limp Biscuit, mm-hmm. the, the Deftones, like that kind of... Uh, Beastie Boy. Yeah, that mm-hmm. underground kind of weird, like they consider themselves so different. But the funny part is everyone assumed that I wouldn't know those things but the reality is i've also been listening to yeah. limp biscuit since i was Trans- pretty little time. yeah and it. so i've had limp biscuit break stuff on my like i'm an aries and i'm currently pissed off at somebody playlist for yeah. years and years yeah. and so then my character has to know these songs and know these lyrics and like talk like they know and so that i remember kyle coming up to me and be and like briefing me and being like so <laughs> these are the things you need to know and i was like kyle i know I, why do you think they cast me? I'm like, on they, what like, are you talking about? So it's cool to, to be able to pull from that, but that's kind of what I remember. And so it's fun that that's what my character remembers. That's kind of what I remember. Yeah. And so it, it ended up lining up. I don't know if it lined oh, yeah. up for you guys, what you know about it and what your character knows. I just think about like the movies that came out in the mm. 90s, like The Matrix. And mm-hmm. I guess music taste defines a lot of our characters mm-hmm. like personalities it separates yeah. Them, yeah yeah my, my character's like very into underground hip-hop but I, unlike you I, I didn't know anything about that <laughs> do you, you did you find out more yeah I mean I with the help of Kyle and Evan I did but I, yeah what's he into because I'm a huge underground hip-hop fan so what, what what is your character into? Give me some. Okay, like well, you're asking the wrong guy because I'm <laughs> no, like, you're gonna love our movie though. Yeah, like, yeah, that's like part far, of the problem. like uh, hieroglyphics, hieroglyphics. Yeah. like Blacklicious probably. Not, yeah, I'm yeah. thinking '90s underground. Yeah, yeah. There you go. I love that. He's like, yeah, I studied uh, all. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> immediately blanking on all of it. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. also been like a year and a half. Yeah. You mentioned Lip Biscuit. Fred Durst is here at South by. He has. I know. 
Yeah. <laughs> you know, have you, have you seen yeah, that He's actually yeah. right. I texted him about it. <laughs> oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. So okay. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. Scoop. Yeah, yeah okay. I want to I hang out. I'm yeah. like, I'm your number yeah. one fan. Hell yeah. <laughs> not not really, know. but I do think he's cool. Hell yeah. Uh, let's talk about Kyle Mooney. Like, what was your, I mean, I imagine you guys were probably all he's fans. Here? Yeah. Kyle Mooney's here. Yeah, you're gonna see. You're probably gonna see him at some point. Um, I mean, SNL, Briggs Bear. This guy is, yeah. is kind of a comedic genius. Yeah, uh, what were your experiences like with with Kyle helming this? Well, it's funny because you use the word genius, and I don't think that word could be used. Uh, you know, to describe him. Enough. Yeah. No, you're right. I think, I think you're giving him a little too much credit. It's not enough that he has such a prolific career, but working with him on set, that spontaneity of brilliance kind of comes forth in the way that he. Uh, conducts himself as a director, I feel like we'd be halfway through the rehearsal of a scene and he'd get struck by some sort of creative uh, aura and be like, what about this? It's never a domineering, it's never imposing, it's always like a collaborative suggestion that, uh, especially since he's the director, you're gonna take and you're gonna try and make something of it and to s- watch him respond to that and build onto that. Uh, I think makes for an incredibly creatively uh, satiating experience at least. He kept us on our toes because I know with us, we have pieces where we have these little raps back and forth at each other and Kyle would come in and he would just change it (laughs) and he would change it like in the rehearsals, he would change it on the day and he would just alter things in the way that we threw things around and just ad libbing because he has that SNL background, he has that comedy back, and so things would, yeah, strike yeah. him, yeah. and we had to be so on our toes about it. Yeah, like raps changing, but also, like, lingo changing, like, such a specific, mm. like, just so attentive to, like, words, like, uh, uh, yeah. Subtleties, Liz- these tiny little things, but you can feel it on the, in the, end. like, yeah, all of can. us were, like, you know, probably getting a little annoyed on, like, right. hour, <laughs> hour 15 of, you know, the 27th day of shooting, but then you watch the piece, and you go, uh, oh, because you see all those subtleties and then it is that fully immersive thing. You and feel like you're part of something is. and you go, that's because like if we had said that word instead of that word, that would have felt different. And so you mm-hmm. see, you kind of see the matrix, you see right. what he was doing and you go, oh, it all has this purpose, which is like, I'm terrified of what the inside of his head looks like. Well, you know? like for it's what it's just worth, be by the way, numbers. they're going to be humble yeah. and talk about it with a modicum yeah. of humil- humility here, but I will gas them up. I know we're not doing spoilers, so I'll just say there's a scene between these two that takes place in this movie that I think is my favorite okay. that I've seen in a while. It's incredible. Uh-huh. In a while? Yeah. Honest, it's Goodness. great. But almost, enti- I'm sure Kyle had his hand because he always does and it's always you know, uh, powerful and it helps. But the chemistry you two have in this specific scene that you'll see when you see the movie, <laughs> I loved it. I, I was watching you. it and I didn't have a remote, but I would rewind it and watch it again. Yes. That was fantastic. It feels great. Yeah, it's so good. It feels great, dude. Everyone yeah. is so good. I killed it. Awesome. I, can't wait. I can't wait to see it. So, like, seriously, prob- probably my most anticipated. Talk about I'm, I'm it. Yeah. I'm very, very, very excited for it. Oh.